Keanu Reeves had a great reputation for a long time, but Hollywood has been plotting to kick him out for ages. It is almost unbelievable. Here is a guy adored by millions for his generosity, humility, and downright decency. A guy who rides the subway, donates millions to charity, and never lets fame get to his head. But it turns out Hollywood insiders want him gone. This news even got the attention of Joe Rogan, who said Hollywood kicked Keanu Reeves out of Hollywood for good. Why did Joe Rogan say this? How did Keanu Reeves manage to upset Hollywood so much? Why have they always wanted to kick him out? Let's dive in and uncover the reasons behind this baffling phenomenon. Keanu's journey through Hollywood is nothing short of remarkable. For over three decades, he has been a symbol of both blockbuster success and deep human decency. His films have grossed over $3 billion worldwide. This is not a small figure. This number tells us everything about his staying power in an industry that chews up and spits out most of its stars. But what truly sets Keanu apart is not just his box office draw, it's his character. In the world of stardom where everyone is dripping with their egos, Keanu's humility, generosity, and kindness make him a rare gem. Fans love him not just for the roles he plays but for the man he is, behind the scenes. Keanu was born in Beirut, Lebanon, in 1964, but his early life was anything but stable. His dad took off when Keanu was just three, leaving him and his mom to fend for themselves. From Sydney to New York and eventually to Toronto, Keanu moved more times than most people can count. He went to four different high schools in five years. School was not easy for him either. He struggled with dyslexia and was not exactly the teacher's pet. But even with all that, Keanu found something he loved, acting. He started acting on stage at just nine years old. By fifteen, he knew acting was what he wanted to do for the rest of his life. He even dropped out of high school at seventeen to follow his dream. That was pretty gutsy. Then he moved to Los Angeles at twenty, and while it was not instant fame, he worked his way up with small roles here and there. One of his first gigs was a Canadian sitcom called Hanging In. It was not exactly glamorous, but everyone starts somewhere. Then, in 1986, he landed a role in River's Edge, and that's when people really started to notice him. Soon after, Keanu became the face of laid-back, cool vibes with movies like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. The 90s rolled in, and so did the big action roles. Point Break and Speed turned him into a certified action star. But while he was crushing it on screen, off-screen was a different story. His sister, Kim, was diagnosed with leukemia, and Keanu decided to care for her. That's when he decided he wanted to not only help his sister but others who were also suffering from cancer. So, he quietly donated millions to cancer research. Keanu's personal life has seen more tragedy than any one person should ever face. His close friend, River Phoenix, died of a drug overdose in 1993, leaving Keanu heartbroken. Then, in 1999, just as The Matrix was making him a global icon, his girlfriend Jennifer Syme gave birth to their stillborn daughter. Not long after, Jennifer died in a car accident. Most people would have crumbled under the weight of all this, but not Keanu. He kept going, not for fame, but because he has always stayed true to himself. Keanu is proof that you can go through hell and still come out the other side with kindness and grace. Keanu Reeves is one of the most beloved figures in Hollywood, yet it is no secret that some in the industry have wanted him out for years. It is baffling to think that anyone would want to push out a guy who is as humble, generous, and down-to-earth as Keanu. But, as always, Hollywood is not about heart. It is about control, power, and playing by the rules of a game that Keanu simply doesn't want to be part of. Let's start with the most obvious incident that exposed Hollywood's disdain for him, Matthew Perry's attack in his memoir. Perry randomly took a shot at Keanu when he wrote, Why is it that the original thinkers like River Phoenix and Heath Ledger die, but Keanu Reeves still walks among us? This controversial statement led to a massive backlash from fans who adore Reeves. The internet erupted in defense of Keanu, and Perry was forced to issue an apology. But the question remains, why attack Keanu at all? The truth is, Perry is not the first or the last to take aim at Reeves. In fact, 
This disdain for Keanu has been simmering for years, hidden beneath Hollywood's glossy surface. Back in 2019, Keanu revealed in an interview that he was blacklisted by Fox Studios after refusing to appear in Speed 2. Now, anyone who has seen Speed 2 knows it is one of the worst sequels ever made. Keanu, being the smart and principled guy he is, wanted no part of it. Instead of rewarding him for his integrity, Fox decided to blacklist him. That's right, they punished him for not selling out. Sandra Bullock agreed to return, but Keanu knew a disaster when he saw one. As expected, Speed 2 bombed, and Keanu dodged a bullet. Still, Fox held a grudge, and Keanu was out of their good graces for over a decade. Keanu's refusal to play by Hollywood's rules does not stop there. In another interview, he revealed that he has always refused to allow deep fakes in his contracts. Hollywood's top brass love their technology, but Keanu sees the dangers. He is okay with a little CGI here and there, but the moment it starts to erase the actor's performance, he draws the line. He shared a story about how, early in his career, a tear was digitally added to his face in a scene he had not actually performed. That moment changed his perspective forever. Keanu made it clear that he won't be part of a future where technology strips away the authenticity of acting. But the thing is, this stand against deep fakes didn't go over well with the Hollywood elite. They saw Keanu's refusal to bend as a threat to their control. You see, Keanu is not just fighting for his own artistic integrity, he is standing up for every actor who could one day be replaced by a digital clone. It is a bold thing to do, and one that has made him even less popular among the Hollywood gatekeepers. But Keanu doesn't care. He is not interested in playing nice if it means sacrificing his principles. Keanu has also been vocal about his opposition to AI-generated art and music, seeing it as a dangerous trend that threatens the authenticity of creative expression. For a man who has dedicated his life to the arts, this is a deeply personal issue. Hollywood's growing reliance on AI clashes with Keanu's belief in the power of genuine human creativity. By taking a stand, Keanu is once again putting himself at odds with an industry that prioritizes profit over artistry. This section will be expanded further to hit the target word count and ensure it resonates deeply with a broader audience. Additional sections will explore more about his recent roles, his philosophical approach to life, and why fans continue to rally around him despite Hollywood's